So what have we learned about community engagement today? We've seen some tremendous thought leaders, talent, taking on the challenges of the world. But what about this beautiful place we live in? Here's my question for you. In these times of global challenge, how do we meet the needs of individuals, families, and local communities while nurturing a sense of belonging, a capacity for resilience, and the ability to thrive. There's a lot of remembering for us to do. We know how to do this. It's within us, and it's what we're returning to. What we're finding in community engagement is that it's connecting back to ourselves. And how do we do that? Most deeply, by being present to one another, by telling each other our stories. How much of that did we hear today? That being present to another, to hearing their stories, when they're young and in need, when they're old and alone, when they're struggling, when they're successful. Caring about one another, really caring about one another. Do we have enough to eat? Do we have economic opportunities? Educating our young, caring for the environment. How do we care for our elders? How do we live well? How do we die well? Enjoying one another, really enjoying one another. Now, we live in San Juan County, and all of us know the value of a good potluck. The ability to be with one another. The talent, the art, the culture that is ours. And the fourth, working together for a higher purpose. When we work together to create something bigger, better, together. This comes from Paul Bourne's work from the Tamarack Institute in Canada, whose books on deepening community and community conversations is foundational to what we're seeing in community engagement. His definition of community engagement is people working collaboratively through inspired action and learning to create and realize bold visions for their common future. Now, we're doing that in San Juan County. I am really pleased to say. We live in the Salish Sea. We're part of a complex system, environmentally, cross-culturally. We have organizations in San Juan County see us as the heart of the Salish Sea. Being able to connect North and South, British Columbia and Washington State, I'm part of a nonprofit on South Whidbey, News Stories, and our work is connecting community to more of itself, individuals, organizations, and community through deep dialogue, knowing that community is the answer, that we can create the solutions. On South Whidbey is the Whidbey Institute, and four years ago, Jerry Milhan created the Thriving Communities Conference. It's an annual conference that will run five years. Year one took on food and food security. Year two looked at local economies, sharing economies. Year three, they took on health care. Full spectrum, birth through death. And last year, they took on shelter. Now, we know in our county we have challenges with shelter as well. And I'm really pleased that last year's conference featured the work of the, the Lopez Community Land Trust. Sandy Bishop and Rhea Miller have a film that is part of the series. Um, the communities coming together to look at teenage homelessness, to look at urban gentrification, to look at rural housing challenges. And right now in San Juan County, we're taking this on. And I feel very strongly that we can find great success 
together. So what would a thriving San Juan Islands look like? This has grown out of my work at New Stories. The Thriving Salish Sea is the project that I lead. And Thrive San Juan Islands and Thrive Orcas Island are my incubator. We've been playing in the county to understand connecting with the organizations that are supporting thriving. One of the big things right now is what's happening with the conservation district. In July, they brought together 115 people at the Friday Harbor Grange for a conversation on climate resilience. What is it that we're going to be doing in San Juan County to respond to the change in climate? How is it going to affect us with water? How is it going to affect us terrestrially? Fire protection. What would it be like as a community across the county to collaborate and create a plan? Community conversations will continue on Lopez and on San Juan and on Orcas and Outer Islands, too. We can find the solutions to these challenges as opportunities. So what's happening on Orcas Island? Orcas is really alive. We had a TEDx last year ourselves. We'll have another next spring. Getting people co connected with each other, learning from each other. Um, through Thrive Orcas Island, we started three years ago, Green Drinks, which is a monthly gathering, open forum for people who are working on community and environmental issues to come together. We have a monthly community council that creates a space for community to drop into what is on their hearts and minds. Places where we can bring our challenges and our conflicts into conversations that matter. We have younger families and singles who are creating new farms. We're paying attention to more food production, local food production. In our community, we have a new school for young children, the Forest School. We have a community foundation that in the last year committed $1.2 million to 111 nonprofits on our islands. We have ways to come together to share our talents, our time, and our treasure. But the project that was really most interesting to me in the last few months has been working on a festival that was held last weekend at Doe Bay. The Imagine Festival brought together younger creatives on our island, and they co-produced a three-day music festival at Doe Bay. The opportunity to have a vision, to build a collective, to work collaboratively, and to invite over 400 people to our beautiful island to experience how we live in potential, learning from one another, learning about solar, learning about permaculture, being in conversation, playing together, dancing together, and celebrating our young children who took the stage in the finale to sing Imagine. So if you transcend imagining into the beauty that is our island, our county, what can we stand for? And how can we stand together when we build something that's bigger than just us? When we do it together, telling each other our stories, coming together in community, enjoying one another, and working together for a higher purpose, be it an arts and music celebration and gathering, be it a way to create resiliency and build a plan for a stronger future. As I was waiting to come and talk to you, I stepped outside and I looked across the water at Turtleback on my island. 
And I know that the world is pressed and our communities are pressed. We're challenged and yet we are blessed. We're blessed to live here. We're fortunate to have one another. We have resources beyond the beyond. We have those that need our help. We have hands that can be helpful. We have a county that has done much to protect the natural beauty that we live here for. And if I asked any of you, why did you come here? What brought you to San Juan County? I know most of you would say to be part of community. So this is our community. And we can make it better and stronger by the invitation, by seeing someone else, asking how they are, asking how I can help you. What is it that you need? What is it that I can give, as Gary said today when he teed us off? So imagine what San Juan County can be. Imagine what you can bring, because each of us is like a pebble in the pond. We create that ripple effect. What we do matters. If I work well, I influence my family. If my family does well, it influences the community. If my community does well, it influences the nation. And if my nation does well, it will influence the world. And we need it now. So, be the invitation, join the conversation. Thank you.